Good morning, friends. Welcome back. Now, we are in a brand new month today. Do you remember what the month is? I told you yesterday. It's April. Yesterday was the last day of March, and today is the first day of April. All right, so let's get started. You might notice that right here, I took all the numbers off the calendar for March, and then I put April up here for our brand new month. And since today is the first day of April, what number do we need? One, that's right, it is April the 1st, 2021. Now, I knew that I had to take this one and put it right here. And you're probably wondering, well, how did you know where to put that? It's because I already knew that today is Thursday because yesterday was Wednesday. So I'm gonna start our number right here on the right day of the week for Thursday, April 1st. Now, I just told you today is Thursday, and I also said that yesterday was Wednesday, but can you tell me what tomorrow will be? That's right, tomorrow will be Friday, the last day of school for the week. Okay, if we add one more straw to 140, we get one for one, 141 days of kindergarten. All right, now right here, I have a problem that we are going to figure out using subtraction or takeaway, okay? So, if I had 10 birds land in my yard, okay? And then five of them flew away, how many would I have left, all right? So I had 10 and five flew away, how many do I have left? Five, right? You can see that on my fingers, I have five left. We can also do that with a drawing. So right here I have 10 circles to represent the birds. And if five fly away, we have to mark out or take away five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so how many are left? Five, very good. Good job, so 10 take away five equals five. If we look right here, you'll see all three words that we have learned this week. I'm gonna hold them up so that you can read them out loud to me, okay? What word is this? Good. Get. Who. Very good job, friends. All right, now I need you to look right here at our tallies and right here at our 10 frame and see if you can figure out what number of the day it is today. What number is it? Did you get it? Now, if you said the number 16, then you are right. How did you know that our number for today was 16? What did you do to figure that out? Good, so you might have counted each of these, or maybe you looked and you saw that there were three groups of five and one, one, five, 10, 15, 16. You might have looked at the 10 frames and seen that there were 10 and six more, which is 16, right? There's a lot of different ways you could have figured that out. So if our number for the day is 16, one more than 16 is what? 17, good. And that means that one less than 16 is 15, 15, 16, 17. Okay, now, another thing that we are working on this week is stretching out our CBC words and spelling them. You have already learned how to make all the sounds in different CBC words by using your choppers, right? Like for example, if I said, tell me all the sounds in the word fox, you could do that, right? What are the sounds in fox? Ah, x. Now we're gonna take those sounds and we're gonna write them. So the first sound in fox was f. So what letter do we need to write? F, very good. And the next sound in fox was ah. And what letter says ah? O, so I'm going to write an O. And the last sound in fox, what was it? 
And what letter makes the X sound? X, very good. And now we have the word fox. All right, friends. I hope that you guys are having a great Thursday and I'll see you back here tomorrow morning for our calendar Friday morning. Bye.